In this video, I will show you how to fix any slow download speeds on Steam. So let's jump straight into it. So if you are trying to download games on Steam and you're finding that the Steam download speed is very, very slow, there's a couple of things you can do to actually improve this. Now, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is open up Steam and log into your account. Once you've done that, come up to the top left-hand corner and press onto Steam up here, then come down and press onto Settings. So from here, what you're gonna to want to do is gonna open up a new window. You wanna come over to the left-hand side and click onto Downloads. The first thing you're going to want to check is the download region. So you want to make sure this is selected to the region that is closest to you. As this is going to be the closest server that it's going to download your games or updates or things like that from. So what you can do is click onto this drop down box and for myself in the UK, UK London is the closest for myself. But if you're in like the US for example, what you're going to want to do is scroll down, look through the US and choose the location that is applicable for you. There's also Europe which is covered as well. So you just want to go through this and choose the server best for you. So next, what I would also recommend doing is make sure that the limit download speed option is turned off. And also what I would recommend doing is turning this option on to allow downloads during gameplay. So if you go ahead and turn the switch on, as you can see underneath, it says if this is enabled, Steam may initiate or continue downloading updates whilst you have a game or other Steam application running. You can also over override this on a per game basis in your library. Please note downloading during gameplay can impact game performance if you're using the Steam deck. So I'd like to keep this one on and the final thing I would recommend doing in this screen is clearing your download cache. So by clearing the download cache as you can see this could resolve issues downloading or starting apps. So what it does it basically deletes any temporary files it's not going to affect anything but all you want to do is click this button here to clear your cache and then once that's done there's nothing really else you need to do from this screen. So here we are back on my desktop. Now there's another thing you can actually do on your computer to help improve download speeds. So what you want to do from your desktop is come down to the search bar and just go ahead and type task manager and then go ahead and open up the task manager which should be shown underneath best match. So that's going to open up the task manager. Now what you're going to want to do from here, you've got some tabs at the top. You want to click onto the performance tab. And on this screen, if you look towards the bottom, you can see something called the resource monitor. So you want to go ahead and open up your resource monitor. Now from here, this is going to open up a window like this. And what you want to do is at the top, you want to come across to the network tab. And this is going to show you all the current things which are using your internet. So by disabling some of these or closing them down, you can actually help improve your internet speed because your internet is not going to be allocated to so many tasks so therefore more of your internet can be allocated to the steam downloads so you can see i've got a few things running here so for example my OneDrive, i can close that down you can just go ahead and right click onto any of these and click on end process however what i would recommend doing is just closing the program manually so for example i would close down my OneDrive and things like my google chrome i would close that down and basically allocate more resources to steam so hopefully this these methods should help you to increase your download speeds and stop these slow download speeds on Steam. I hope this tutorial does help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.